Hello everyone and welcome to a new week of online learning. I am Mrs. Capel and as well as Mrs. Brits, we are going to be taking you through our English for the week. This week we are learning a new sound, two new sight words and a whole lot of new words that come with the new sound. So enjoy these lessons. Remember that you can collect a pack from school every Friday that has the work we are covering in a booklet form. This is exactly the same as what is downloaded on the D6 communicator as well. So these videos are to accompany those things to give your child the best learning experience possible. So enjoy this video and let's get started. Now that you've practiced saying all of your sounds, we are going to say the pictures we see from left to right. If you can't think of what that picture could be and you need a little bit of help, the words are written in the pack so the parent can read out the words to the child. Igloo, Impala, Injection. I'll say it once more. Igloo, Impala, in. Injection. What do you notice? That's right. All of the words began with the sound E. Now when we say the sound, I want you to pretend that you are going to the doctor to get an injection. Now I know a lot of us are scared of injections. We don't like going to get injections. And I, Mrs. Capel, also don't enjoy getting injections. And when we get the injection, sometimes we want to just squeal because it is so sore or because we are so scared. Now this sound we are learning this week, the E sound, even looks like a little injection. So what you need to do when you are saying the sound, you need to pretend that someone is coming to give you an injection in your arm. So you make your little E with your pizza pointer and you give yourself an injection in your arm. And what are you going to say? You're not going to say, ow, because that's not the sound we are learning. You are going to say, <gasps> e. once more, e. And when you say it, you make that sound and you can even move your shoulders up and down. E. Try it with me now. E. Once more. E. Good. The E sound is the injection sound. We are going to now blend with our letter E. Say it once more for me just because it's so much fun. E. Now there are lots and lots and lots of words that have the sound E in them. And that is because the E sound actually lives in the house of Anne. And the letters that live in the house of Anne, A, E, E, O, and A, are five letters that have a special name. They are called our vowel sounds, our vowel sounds. And basically what that means is that every single word in the whole wide world needs one of these special vowel sounds in them in order for it to be a real word. You will never see a word. There's no such thing as a word without a vowel sound in it. So without the a, e, e, a, or a. So let's take a look at some short words that have this letter in it. Now I've written down three small words and they are words that you will see in lots of sentences and lots of stories. Let's practice by saying these sounds. I'm going to start at the top and go down. So say the sounds with me and see if you can hear what word they are making. Now, east sounds a little bit funny, but remember, we can always hear in our mind that there's no such thing as is, but there is such a word as is, is. So although our little injection sound makes us go, when we put it with other sounds, we can actually hear the word they are making nicely. Is, is. 
Let's try with this one. In, 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 and last one. It, 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 it. So let's say these words together now. Is, in. Once more, is, in, it. Very nice. Now let's see if we can make some three letter words with our sound. Three letter words. Now you will remember that when we have three letter words, we can put our different robot colors to show the beginning sound, the middle sound, and the ending sound. Now we are going to blend these three sounds together. And you have to remember when you say your injection sound, e, you must say it properly in the middle so that you don't confuse it with e or a. This is e. Let's give it a go. B -ik. B -ik. Big. 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 Do you hear the E? You can see it in the middle. Let's go to this one. P -i -n. P -i -n. P -i -n. Pin. Pin. We've got to make our little injection sound nice and clear. Last one. Do you remember the sound from last week? It is the breathing sound. Let's try it. And we know that is a body part. If you are still struggling with these sounds, we have learned about 12 or 13 sounds now, and you can't recognize it and say it straight away. It might be slowing down your reading. So what you need to do is you need to go and look at the front cover of our English pack, where all of the sounds we have learned so far are written. And you must practice, practice, practice until you can eventually see the sound and know it and say it properly. The popping sound, b, the blowing sound, b, the breathing sound. We need to master our sounds. Now you will see in the pack that there is a longer list of words to practice blending. Go slowly and do the exercise more than once so that you can recognize your sounds and recognize your words. Great job, grade ones. Now we are going to look at the letter formation, which is just a fancy word for the handwriting of this letter. So this week we are learning about the letter E. As you will see in your pack, we have activity one, and this is our rainbow letter. It has two sides for you to work on at home, and it even has two sweet little pictures of an igloo and an injection for you to color in at home. So that is activity one. But before we get started, our formation of the letter E is actually very simple. It is a straight vertical, remember a vertical line goes from top to bottom. This is a horizontal line from left to right. We don't have a horizontal line in E. We have a Vertical line. Say it with me. Vertical line. Good. So it's a straight vertical line down. Lift your pencil or your crayon and a small little dot at the top. So before we get going with our rainbow, you are welcome to use sand, play doh, blocks, pasta, rice, whatever you have at home to practice forming this letter. Straight vertical line down, little dot at the top. So do that first, and once you are ready, come back and do the rainbow letter. So let's look at the rainbow letter now. I'm going to start off with green. I start and I stay in the middle. 
Remember with our rainbow letter, it's like we are driving a car. If we go too far to the one side or too far to the other side, we're going to crash and our line will not be straight. So stay in the middle. You're going to have to watch very carefully and control your little pencil or crayon. So I start at the top, straight vertical line down. I'm only allowed to lift when I get to the bottom. Let's go. Stay in the middle. And I made it a straight vertical line. Now we're not done. We have a little dot at the top. Now it's important that it is little. I don't want a big soccer ball at the top of my E. That's not going to look very nice in our books. It's a small little dot. Little dot done. There's no need to color in or make something very big. It's just a small little dot. Once you are done doing the one color, you go and choose another color and you go over your same line. Don't make a new line. You go over the same line in the middle. Lift, little dot, next color. And you can do it with as many colors as you have or as many colors as you want but you go over the same line every time. That's our rainbow letter. Lastly, I want to show you how to do this letter on the lines so that you know for Friday's lesson of handwriting. Now we said that the letter E is a tortoise letter. And remember tortoise letters are small and they love to be next to the dot because we pretend that the dot is like a little nut and the tortoises love to eat nuts so it stays next to the nut the dot in the line okay so i'm only going to use one line straight vertical line down the slower you work the more straight the line will be reach the bottom lift top and bottom check i've touched them then my little dot goes into the line above but it is a small little dot and it's only just above it. Count one, two, and pick up. You're not drawing a big circle. You drop it for one, two, and pick up. And that is our little E. So get going with your rainbow. Remember as many colors as you want and color in the pictures on the back as well. Have fun. Sideword stories for grade ones. Good morning, grade ones. Once upon a time in a town far, far away, lived a dog named Dippy. One day, Dippy Dog felt very sick. When his friends heard that he was ill, they were sad and wanted to help him feel better. They decided to cook some delicious warm food for him. Timmy and Kimmy went to the shop to buy food. They bought four bottles of milk, four eggs, four bananas and four carrots. Oh dear! This was all too much for Timmy to carry. So Kimmy got a basket to put everything into. When you see the number name 4, the A uh is the basket to carry all the food in. When Timmy and Kimmy had everything they needed, they went home to cook dinner for their sick friend. Shall we cook steak or chicken? Timmy asked. Shall we cook vegetables or salad? Kimmy asked. And what shall we make for pudding? Pancakes or cake? They had such fun cooking for their friend. And when the food was ready, they took it to Dippy's house. Little Kimmy peeped into the room and whispered, Dippy, Dippy! We have brought food for you and we have pudding for you too. Dippy was so happy to see his friends. We brought this food for 
you so that you would feel better. The friends had the most wonderful dinner party and Dippy felt so much better. Soon, Timmy and Kimmy left Dippy Dog to get some rest and as they were leaving, Dippy said, Thank you for coming. And they replied, That's what friends are for. Our word for today is the word for. We have food for you. For. Say the word with me. For. Can you see a little word hiding away in the word for? That's right. The little word or. This or that. In our story today, we heard two words that sound the same but look different and mean different things. For, we have food for you. And the number name for, we need the basket for four bottles of milk. That's the end of the story for today, great ones. Have a nice day. Our new sight word is for. Say it with me. For. For reading this week, we are moving on to book two. You will find book two attached in the pack that you collected from school or downloaded on the D6 communicator. There are four days of reading for you to do, and each day is a little bit different, rows and columns and sentences. You will see in the pack that it tells you which day goes when, but it's very simple, Monday, day one, Tuesday, day two, Wednesday, day three, and Thursday, day four. Day one. Read each row three times. Read each column three times. Remember that rows go from left to right, and columns go from top to bottom, or bottom to top. That's all from me today, grade ones. Remember to look through the pack that you have been given carefully and to go over the sounds we have learned so far. See you tomorrow.